there's a in the last 24 hours there's been a rumor circulating that Adam Peters potentially could be joining the Houston Texans in a weird kind of situation it sounds like Bill Belichick may be losing face with Robert Kraft and that maybe uh, the Texans GM Nick Casario could be going back to New England maybe after the draft and there's been speculation that Peters may be his replacement to take over as the GM of course this team has already hired D'Amico Ryans as their head coach um, and other 49er people are there as well what do you think of it how likely is it that Peters you think winds up in Houston and if so when do you think it will happen well, this is uh, Mike Silver's uh, rumor. He's the one that started it. Um, he, he, he got <laughs> well, asked. Man. I mean, I was um, I was a little surprised this uh, early this off season when um, you know the the Titans were looking for a new GM and they uh, asked to interview Rand Carthon and Adam Peters and and Peters uh, declined the the interview. Um, and so I, I I took that to to mean that, okay, this guy, he's from Cupertino. He's been John Lynch's right-hand man. There's all, always been all sorts of rumors about Lynch going back to television at some point. I, I felt like it was confirmation that, uh, um, that Peters is the heir apparent at, at GM here in San Francisco, and that's why he's declining GM interviews. So, um, I suppose uh, the, something could have been in the works at that point where he knew that he could be offered the uh, the, the Houston GM job. And that's a that's a an attractive job, just given um, a who they hired as head coach, uh, somebody who, who he's very familiar with. And B, there they've got, you know, scads of of draft picks. So, um, you know, uh, you put two and two together and there is some credence there or some believability there. Um, but again, um, I would think that uh, I, I think that I know that Adam Peters is held in very high standing by the uh, the 49ers, by Jed York, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I still think this is where he ultimately wants to be, uh, but obviously in the in the GM role. You know, and it, it begs a lot of questions. I mean, first of all, Peters is a native of Cupertino. He went to Monta Vista High School. He was a two-sport standout there. Um, he's got a wife and, and a couple kids, so, you know, maybe he wants to be in Northern California or maybe not. And maybe this, you know, kind of um, leads into another conversation. How long do you expect John Lynch to stay in this role? I mean, I think a lot of people thought he would jump back to kind of the easier schedule of television, but I get a sense that he is, is – um, you know, really given a charge by the job that he's in and, and, and doesn't plan to leave anytime soon. That's just from afar. I haven't talked to him about it, but, uh, that's what, that's my takeaway. What do you think is, is Lynch a long term, long time guy here, or do you think, um, he may jump back or jump out of this situation? This is a, this is a heavy workload position that he's in. It is, um, you know, he's a, um, I, I, I want to finish the job type of guy. That's, that's how he was raised. And so um, he wants to win a Super Bowl with this team. And I think if that happened, then, um, then maybe he would have kind of scratched that itch and would look for something else. I mean, you know, when Amazon was looking for broadcasters a couple of years ago, they threw a lot of money in front of his face and it was enough where he had to sort of kind of look at it and he, he ultimately chose not to i'm not sure whether that that amazon job is still available whether that that dollar amount is still available um, it was a huge dollar amount and it didn't coax him uh, away from being the gm so I, I would think it would have to be a very kind of special offer for him to uh for him to leave 